Rich Lowe, Pilot Legacy, on site at the Stanton Lockhart, Texas, with our August 2023 investor update. Well, it's hot and dry out here in Lockhart. Everything around this place is just brown and dry. We've only had about one or two days of very light rain since our July update. Central Texas is experiencing some substantial drought conditions. But on the bright side, that has permitted really steady progress around the site. Looking at pad 7, you can see that the poly and cables are in place in preparation for the foundation to be poured. Axia's on-site supervisor Patrick Gardner informed me that Cherry Valley Concrete will commence pouring on pad 7 on Friday, September 1st, just a couple days away. Once pouring is commenced, the cables will be tightened to approximately 33% of their final tension. The concrete will be allowed to cure for approximately a week and then the final tension will be applied to the cables. The cables serve to reinforce not only the concrete itself but also the forms during the initial stages of the pour as the weight of the uncured concrete places a tremendous amount of pressure on the grade boards and footers which make up the perimeter foundation forms. Here you can see the riser pipe for the fire suppression system and the inflow pipe for domestic water for building 7. Notice too that the southern portion of pad 7 is not polyed. Because pad 7 has a much larger footprint, it will be poured in two phases. The, the second portion of pad 7 will be poured after the first half is fully cured. Just to the north of Pad 7, you could see Cherry Valley crews at work cutting into the select fill for what will eventually serve as the beams for Pad 8's foundation. In the days following, the poly and cables will be applied just like you saw with Pad 7, and Pad 8 and the southern portion of Pad 7 will then be poured in sequence. Recall that in last month's update, crews were busy installing both the stormwater drainage system and the sewage system for Stanton Phase 2. Those installations have since been completed and now crews are hard at work installing the electrical conduit, which will eventually complete the loop running northbound along the eastern boundary drainage flume, then north around pad 8, and finally westward to connect pads 9, 10, and 11, completing the electrical loop. The stubbing in of utilities is complete at pad sites 9, 10, and 11, and here you can see where the fire hydrants have even been installed. The forms and preparation for those pours will all continue in sequence counterclockwise around the property following 7 and 8. Now let's take a look at my favorite part of the monthly update, the time-lapse footage. Recall last month we were just beginning to stub in the plumbing at pad site 9 when the time-lapse came to an end. This month we're able to see the installation of those systems from start to finish. Of course, keep in mind that this is also going on simultaneously at sites 10 and 11 as well. Well, so far so good with the new network and the camera. There was a little bobble you may have noticed about two-thirds of the way through the sequence, which leads me to believe there may have been a bird or some such thing perched on top of the solar panel. Maybe we need a plastic owl up there to keep those troublemakers away. Well, and just to the north, work continues to make the detention pond even bigger and deeper. One of these days, we're going to get lots of rain to fill that thing up. Maybe. And just for the fun of it, let's take a look at what's going on around the neighborhood. From the north, looking south, you can see the streets are paved and houses are going up quickly over to the east at the Hansford development. The 120-unit Lockhart Farms Litech community is up and running, with units already leasing and final certificates of occupancy being issued. Road work and water works are still underway in the much larger Lockhart Properties development immediately to Stanton's east. And next in the screen is the Stanton with Phase 2 in the foreground. And finally, to your right, the senior living community just to the west of the Stanton is finally going vertical. Our outstanding on-site manager, Jenna, reports 98% occupancy at the Stanton Phase 1, despite the dusty and noisy construction zone right there in everyone's backyard. Demand remains strong and the community of Lockhart continues to grow rapidly. Well, next month we hope to have some beautiful foundations to show you. We should be across the hump for this summer heat, so we'll see you then. Uh, but what you'll notice, there, may, there was a little bit... <laughs> with units already leasing and final certificates of occupancy being in the works. Does that even make sense? <laughs> be poured in two phases. 
The second portion of pad seven will be poured after the first half is cured. What, are you gonna do work here on the side or something while I'm filming, really? 